It all started with a TV show, Silence of the Bees, about honeybee populations in steep decline. Electrical engineers Gu Yan Wei and Rob Wood at Harvard University saw a challenge, and so began the creation of the Robo Bee, a miniature flying robot. Nothing is off the shelf, and so we have to develop all of the, the physical components from scratch. So all of the things like how are they going to talk to each other, coordinate all the algorithms for, for having a colony of them work together. In this setup is where we do all of our play tests. Wood put together a diverse team of collaborators to get the RoboBee project off the ground. The Expeditions Computing Program is looking for you know, new architectures for computing, new ways of thinking about different important problems in computer science. One challenge? To design the tiny folding exoskeleton that houses the bee's wings, motors, and electronics. Inspired in a lot of ways by children's pop-up books where we can make, take a variety of different materials and layer them up and laminate them together. We heads up the team that's developing the intricate multitasking computer chip brain. We have different regions of the chip responsible for different things. We also have an electronic nervous system within the bee brain that tells it to flap its wings. Power is another issue. If the fuel source is too heavy, the bee can't fly. We have a collaborator that's making microfuel cells uh, that, that should be much better than the batteries that we're putting together. Is there so much that goes into just achieving what bees in nature just seem to do without any effort? Now they're hoping to build a colony of interacting robo-bees. There will be no need for a queen bee, but they do plan to design a hive that will be used as a refueling station. One day, a swarm of these micro-robots could be deployed to search for victims after a disaster, for example. And even though that would be years away, Wood says the advancements they've made so far are already creating quite a buzz. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.